वेलकम टू माय चैनल वेर वी प्रो डेंटिस्ट्री थर्टी टू रीजन्स वाई सो दिस इज अ टॉपिक फ्रॉम एपिडेमोलॉजी सो विल डिस्कस अदर्स द रिलेशन बिटवीन इंसिडेंट्स एंड प्रिवेलेंस ऑफन कन्फ्यूज बाय द स्टूडेंट्स सो बेसिकली इंसिडेंट्स मेजर्स द पॉपुलेशन एट रिस्क ऑफ डेवलपिंग डिजीज इन सिंपल वर्ड्स वी डिटेक्ट न्यू केसेस विच इज द न्यू मोरेटर एंड आउट ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन दैट इज द डिनोमिनेटर एट अ रिस्क सो न्यू मोरेटर हेयर इज द पार्ट ऑफ डिनोमिनेटर एंड ड्यूरिंग द सेम टाइम पीरियड एंड पर थाउजेंड पॉपुलेशन ओके सो देर इज अ पॉपुलेशन ऑफ टेन सो आउट ऑफ विच फाइव पीपल आर इफेक्टेड बाई डिजीज सो अवर फाइव इज द न्यू केसेज दैट वी हैव डिटेक्टेड दैट इज द न्यू मोरेटर अपॉन टेन द डिनोमिनेटर द टोटल पॉपुलेशन सो न्यू मोरेटर इज पार्ट of the denominator we get 500 cases per 1000 population per year i have drawn this highlighted in the yellow five people affected they were part of the population that is the denominator so this tells us about the people that have potential of becoming diseased hence this incidence measures the risk this is the formula same as a rate except that we detect new affected individuals and it is expressed as rate now prevalence as per the definition it includes all the current cases both old and new existing in a given population at a given point that is point prevalence and over a period of time that is period prevalence we'll solve an example so you'll understand this in much better way so this is expressed as percent incidence was measuring risk and it was only about the new cases so it was expressed as a rate that is per thousand population but here we are expressing as person that is 100 and it can range from 0 to 100 person so the unit of prevalence will be percent so it's divided into two types that is point prevalence and period prevalence point prevalence is at that particular uh, period of time that is uh, say there is an epidemic outbreak of an um, epidemic from january till december so the total say we have to take the cases of or the number of affected individual during the month of january that will be the point prevalence or during the month of march that will be the cases will, will be called as the point prevalence whereas the prevalence period prevalence is the all the cases from january till the december okay now you'll understand better this is the example so there is an outbreak that is from january till june okay so case 1 was detected in the month of january case 2 3 and 4 there were three cases in february and one fifth case in march and there they all cured in the month of april and then there was again a case detected in may and that sixth case got cured or it uh, treated during june okay so incidence incidence remember is the only the new cases so in january we have incidence of one case in february we have three you can see three individuals in the diagram in march we had only one case in april zero because they all got cured and we only detect new cases in may again we got a new case one incidence is one in may okay so now we move on to the prevalence now in january it is one prevalence is the remember all the cases old and new cases so prevalence in january is 1 whereas in february will also include case 1 you see the red line going the red line case 1 got cured in the month of may you have seen the case 1 red line starting from january till the green dot that is may it got cured so we'll have to also include that because this case got treated in june it is still the disease is still prevailing in february case 1's disease is still prevailing in february so the case 1 2 3 4 all are included in the february prevailing cases remember prevail also old cases again prevalence uh, will be 5 in month of march because they all are getting cured in the month of april case 2 3 4 are getting cured in the month of april whereas case 1 is getting cured in may so we'll have to include all it is still prevailing disease is still prevailing right so 5 cases in the month of march prevailing cases prevailing cases in the month of april five we remember we take old and new cases when we are calculating prevalence so it is in prevalence is five then prevalence is two in the month of may now point prevalence it is over a period of time at a specific period of time okay so say uh, you have been asked about the point prevalence of january it is only one and point prevalence of june again there is only one case that got treated prevent pre we can take the old case in prevalent right so the point prevalence of february is we have four cases so that is how it is so there is this example given in textbook of a pot and like uh, we are adding in that pot or vessel some pebbles new cases incidence new cases are the incidence so right they are entering the pot and they will increase the prevalence but 
because of the death or maybe because of the disease being treated prevalence will uh, decrease because the pebbles are getting out of the pot so when incidence increases naturally uh, there will be uh, increase in the prevalence when the death or cure rate is constant so you can uh, write about this that uh, how the prevalence will um, increase say there is um, death no death or cure okay so and uh, death rate is low or if there is increasing amount of new cases so at that time prevalent will increase so if death or cure increases prevalence will decrease because more pebbles will go out of the vessels so death or cure uh, death or cure increases prevalence will decrease because people are going out they are getting cured or maybe they are dying okay maybe the disease is fatal so that is how you can write when and how the prevalence will increase or decrease with the help of this example. So it's very important that you understand this diagram.